All right, hello, I'm Andrew Gillen. I'm a student at Full Sail University. Uh, my degree program is a bachelor's in digital cinematography. I'm here with Thomas Walkup for the interview. Say hello, Thomas. <laughs> and and Thomas, uh, what's the title you go by professionally? Because I know you do it all. I know you you do everything within the film industry. I'm a, a I'm a cinematographer. Or they call it director of photography, and I'm a producer. I worked on uh, international and national television on top tier cable, and I produce small films and documentaries. So. Yeah, you, when you kind of wear a bunch of hats now these days. If you're, I'm like a mid-level producer, so I'm not like the highest level, but I'm not considered a nonprofit either. What do you see as the role of the visual arts in society today, particularly in your profession? Well, if, it's, if you're talking about visual arts in film and television industry, um, visual arts inform directors mostly because directors are the artistic side. They give rhythm. They are the, the storytellers with regards to media, putting documentaries. The director is the one who makes his decisions about sound and uh, language of context regarding you know imagery that's used. And so for the arts, the influence is always, um, as far as visual arts go, it's always uh, asking the question, you know, challenging status quo, helping people see something from a different perspective, and to inspire. New communications and media technologies make imagery almost instant, instantly available. Do you believe that this has a positive or negative influence on your field uh, and industry? Well, there's no wrong answer for that because it's both. You know, there's, since the democratization of media, you can buy a $2,000 camera and make a picture that's as good as... You know, if you have the skill, obviously, right. it's as good as in a uh, theater 10 years ago, whatever, with a DSLR. Because of that, it's lowered the price of making films, so it's less specialized. That also raises the noise shelf. The noise shelf so. yeah, the, the positive uh, change is definitely happening on a, um, on a social level. Uh, and and maybe the negative side of it is it's leveled the playing field, but maybe some of those players should stay on the bench. What images are frequent, frequently repeated throughout your industry? Well, the news tends to make, you know, so if, if it bleeds, it leads scenario. Yeah. Would, you say, would you say that the news uh, is more attracted to, to the negative? Uh, they maybe report more of the negative things going on instead of, uh, you know, some more positive things that are happening in society? Yeah, and that's Emergencies like we, we our ears go up. Who who is one of your favorite visual artists, and what is your favorite style of visual art? Um, I have no favorite. It's like asking you know which one of your kids do you like best, but your right. answer is really Sandra. Right? <laughs> yep. so it's a very personal, and it can sometimes the attention you give to one. You know, it's just in the moment, then you give the attention to the next one. But I said, one of them is Heinrich Clay, which is a turn-of-the-century German artist did pen and ink, and he was a really exceptional illustrator. He did very bizarre stuff, and really funny and quirky. Then there's Eldon Dedini, who's um, a very painterly illustrator who's in Playboy, and he's now passed away, but he was an incredible artist. Um, Clement Goody Godot is a friend of mine who just recently passed. He did the first uh, greeting cards for African Americans in the United States. So I know a lot of I've known a lot of great artists. And I can't really choose a favorite. There's a lot of different influences they've had to me. Goody, uh, as being a positive person, he was very influential in my life as a mentor in a positive ways. Dadini because he took the challenge of painting everything. There, nothing was done with a pen. Everything is with a brush. So it's very difficult to control a brush. But if you can do it really masterfully. It's your incredible and Heinrich Clay because of subject matter and his penmanship. This concludes our podcast with Thomas Walkup in art and industry.